What about you, Sandra? What would you say? Uh, you know, yeah. do you have an aha moment in your life that you know led to a major shift in your business and life? Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, choose one that's still. Yeah, I, I've only been in business 14 months, so it's kind of hard to know. Uh -huh. And I yeah, think it's true baby. in life. It's hard <laughs> to know what is going to be the real shift and what is maybe a shift on the way to another shift. So mm -hmm. when I started my business uh, 14 months ago, I wanted to help everyone. Um, and I just, I knew that everyone could benefit from my, from what I have to offer. I offer personal concierge services. So it's essentially part-time personal assistance on a membership basis. Right. And mm -hmm. anyone, and I kid around, anyone from the age of 18 to 108 can benefit from what I have to offer. So I was finding that going out and about trying to just represent this message that, oh, it's for everyone, really wasn't working. Um, and, I, and I could feel that it wasn't working. There was something about it that wasn't sitting right for me. And one of the things that I noticed wasn't working for me was that I felt like I was giving people fish, but I wasn't teaching people to fish. I'm fish. Not, I didn't want to feel like I was easily replaceable or that I wasn't actually really providing the value that I wanted for people. And so uh, for, it just so happens that the month that I launched my business, I started a women's networking group that's all about just skipping through the nonsense and let's just talk about the challenges that we face as business owners or as career-driven women where regardless of whether you're just starting out at an entry-level position or you're the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, you're always going to be facing new challenges. And um, I was looking for ways to market my business, and I realized that I was already doing this women's networking group that was just for my own pleasure. And I started thinking I needed to find a way to bring people to me. Uh, and so I started playing with this idea, what if I put together these other groups that are also about helping people, uh, you know, just have more control in their lives. Uh, and I mentioned earlier that I, I have this meetup group where we go and we talk about our goals in this, um, in this different way. It's a different mindset to talk about goals. And all of a sudden, once I started putting these things together, I realized that not only was it the, the gift that I wanted to be giving people, and I am teaching people to fish now uh, by being right. very honest about what it is that they want to see in their lives, it's also kind of snowballed into this bigger thing where I realized that I'm really, what I really want to do is build community. I really want to build a community of people that are committed to living a happier life and having that kind of conscious, deliberate control to know that every action that they're taking has an impact on their happiness, and I want people to choose happiness. Um, and so it was just, it was this aha moment of, you know, I knew that I needed to do something more. Once I figured out what more I needed to be doing, all of a sudden it's opened up this huge portal into something much, much bigger than I ever thought it would be. And now I'm able to market my business in a way that's much more digestible to people because I'm able to come to them and say, the reason I'm doing this for you is so that you can be happier. This is not so that you can work more or whatever. It's really, I want you to take the opportunity to grab the reins of your life and choose opportunities that are going to be enriching to you and not just spend your right. money on new TVs but go on that vacation and know that life goes on when you're back home. But what I've found is that a lot of people are out of touch with what makes them happy. And so now this is something that, that's troublesome for me, especially when I talk to young people <laughs> who feel that happiness can wait. And I really, oh like, I really found that I want to help people realize that happiness starts now, and that right. you might have your down days. And I'm not trying to build this perfect picture, but yeah, I mean, it's just one idea led to the next, and it's snowballing. And all of a sudden, I realize kind of what my dharma is for right now, anyways. And I know that that might shift and change, but uh, yeah, just you know knowing that now I really know what the purpose is of my mission and the role that I want to play within it. So That's super that awesome. awesome. That's <laughs> Sandra, that is in itself a self-reinvention. So kudos yeah. to you, man. Kudos yeah. to you.